Hi friends, Ryan from Barn3 here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can program one of our OxU pedals to work with your Line 6 HX Stomp. Now, it's good to keep in mind that any of our OxU pedals will work with the HX Stomp, including our OxU Mini or our OxU 3. However, on the HX Stomp, you'll only be able to program two foot switches to do auxiliary functions. But maybe you bought an OxU 3 to use with your H90 or some other pedal, and you wanna try it on your HX Stomp, it will work, this button will not be able to be programmed. So for this video, we're gonna use the OxU standard because it's slim, ergonomic design, fits well with the HX Stomp. A few other things to keep in mind, first of which is if uh, you're gonna use the optional OxU mounting plate, make sure you program the pedal first before mounting it to the plate. Once it's mounted, the slide switch that's on the back side of our OxU can be hard to get to, so you wanna make sure it's all working before you put it on the plate. We have a separate video where we go over why you might wanna use the plate, as well as how to install your pedals on the plate. Also, every OxU will come with a custom Barn 3 TRS cable that's about 11 and a half inches long. And if you have a pedal board where you can route cables underneath, this will be perfect for this. If you have a flat pedal board and you need to route the cabling on top, this pedal will reach, but it's a little tight, especially if you're not using the OxU mounting plate. It can cause the pedal to skew out a little bit, but a little bit of Velcro should be able to keep that tight for you. Finally, in the OxU standard box and the OxU mini box, there's gonna be a little cable like this, which is our power adapter. This is only used for boss pedals, so do not plug it in in this scenario. Okay, let's program our pedals. We're gonna start by setting up our OxU so that it's in the right configuration to work with the HX stump. You'll notice that on the back, there's a slide switch and there's also one on the bottom. We want both of these slide switches to be all the way to the left. So on the back slide switch, it's gonna be all the way to the left in the N position, which stands for normal. And on the bottom, it's gonna be all the way to the left in the NSM position. Then we're gonna plug it in using a TRS cable. All right, now we're gonna go into the programming menu of the HX Stomp to actually set up our foot switches. We're gonna start by pressing the two page buttons at the same time. Then we're gonna press the right page button once. Below global settings, we're gonna press this knob. I'm already on it, but we're, if you were over here, you would scroll over to preferences, which is the little person icon. I'm gonna press the right page button. And here we see EXP1 and EXP2. We're gonna change this so it says FS4 and FS5. That's telling our input that we're using foot switches on our AUX input. Now we're gonna use this button up here to scroll over to the little foot switch icon. And over here on foot switch four, we can choose what we want this switch to do. Now I would recommend one of two settings. You could either do preset up and preset down, or you can do bank up and bank down. So I'm gonna do bank up and bank down. So I'm already on it, but we'll just go to bank down for foot switch four. Then we're gonna press our page button. Now we're on foot switch five, which is this one. And I'm already on bank up, but if you were somewhere else, you would just use this knob, to scroll to bank up, and we're done. Now I'll press the home button to back out. And now what I have is this button will bank up. So now we're on bank eight. I can press this one and I'm on eight A. Now I wanna go back down. Now I'm on bank five and I'll go five B. And that's how you would program an OxU to work with your HX Stomp. Now keep in mind, there's many different programming options built into the HX Stomp. So I would recommend reading your user manual and understanding all the different options that you have at your disposal. If you have any other questions, please visit us at barn3.com.